So in June, it's been three years since the release of the very divisive The Last of Us Part 2. I, unlike so many others, love this game, although it's definitely not as good as Part 1, which for me, with the remake, is the best game of all time. But yeah, I appreciated the direction of Part 2 and almost respected the decision by Neil Druckmann not to do the Hollywood sequel that would have been so easy to do. And as I've been playing Part 2 on stream lately, it's made me think how I'd like Part 3 to look. So today, let's explore that. After the events in Santa Barbara, like in the game, Ellie returns back to the farm. Realising Dina and her son out there, she returns back to Jackson to see if she can find them. On her way back to Jackson, she'll be fighting infected, random gangs. This will only be a short journey. After returning to Jackson, we realise Dina's not there, and she never was. Now in this game, we are going to go back to Abby, but we're not going to play as her. We're just going to see cutscenes interjected into Ellie's story. So that being said, we catch up with Abby and Lev, and we find the Fireflies. Eventually, her and the Fireflies get onto the topic of Joel and Ellie, and Ellie's immunity. After talking with the Fireflies, her and Lev eventually set out on a mission to find Ellie. Not to kill her, but to ask her to come back to the Fireflies and create the vaccine they once tried in Salt Lake City. We come back to Ellie, who after a catch up with Tommy Maria, decides to go out and find Dina. She heads towards New Mexico, where Dina is originally from. After some classic Last of Us gameplay sequences like fighting infected and other enemies, Ellie finds a campfire. At the campfire, she finds Dina's backpack. We then cut to Abby, who walks up on a campfire and sees Dina and the child. Recognising Dina, she takes her away and leaves a note for Ellie to find saying Catalina Island. That's the last time we're going to cut to Abby, and we'll see her again organically in the story. So Ellie sets back off on her journey to California and to Catalina Island. During this journey, we'll have classic The Last of Us gameplay sequences fighting clickers and other gangs, and also major plot points. One in each state that we do eventually make us way through. The first state we'll go through is Texas where Joel originally lived before the outbreak. Through a journey in Texas, she'll stumble across a house in which she finds a picture of Joel and Sarah. Like as Tommy said in part one, there's not much left, but he found the picture. She's gonna find another one. And also she'll go upstairs and find Joel's guitar. Unable to play, Ellie reflects. And there's an emotional scene in which Ellie cries about Joel. As part one and part two had chapters, Part 1 did it in seasons, part 2 did it in days. In this game, we're going to have chapters, but this time, it'll be states. We'll have Texas, chapter 1, New Mexico, chapter 2, Utah, chapter 4, and chapter 5 will be California, and eventually Catalina Island. So chapter 1 being Texas and finding Joe's house. Chapter 2 is New Mexico, which Dina is from. Here, Ellie will stumble across a family that had taken their lives in her home. There's going to be two women and a young child. Here, she has PTSD. Like the episode she has about Joel's death, she has another one, this time about Dina and how Dina nearly died in the fight with Abby. Here, she reflects on her decisions to even go after Abby again and what went through her head to leave Dina and her son JJ at home. The core theme of this game would be relationships. And making our way across America, we eventually come across Salt Lake City. Here Ellie goes through the hospital St. Mary's. She'll find recordings of a man called Jerry talking about making a vaccine and how it would work. She also hears Jerry talk about his daughter, who I hope by now you figured about is Abby and the fact that she's the same age as this child that's being brought to him to create the vaccine and his moral dilemma in killing a child. At the very end of this voice tape of Jerry talking about his daughter and the dilemma he's having, she hears Marlene shouting his name. Here's where it all kicks in for Ellie 
that Joel not only killed tens of strangers, but also people she knew, like Marlene. Marlene once looked after her. But also the fact that she'd now put together that this was Abby's dad. Ellie carries a huge amount of love for Joel. She knows he's a good man that's done bad things. But this cements that for her. And she also feels a bit of sympathy for Abby. She doesn't forgive Abby, but she understands. At this point in the story, Ellie does not know it's Abby who has took Dina. She's making her way to Catalina Island blindly, just hoping she'll find Dina. After this is where we come to the final chapter of the game, at Catalina Island. Ellie arrives there and searches around. She eventually finds a group of fireflies. She hears one of them saying, it's her, find Abby. Realising now that it's Abby who's taken Dina, she's annoyed at herself for feeling the feelings she's felt back at Salt Lake City. She's angry that she let herself feel even a bit of sympathy for Abby. And this puts her in a fit of rage, killing all the fireflies. We make our way through Catalina Island, killing loads of fireflies, until we come across Lev, who Ellie looks at, and all their anger goes away. She collapses on the floor. Lev comes to comfort her. Here we get a cut scene where Ellie reflects on everything she's been through, with Joel, Dina, Tommy, Jesse, and everyone else. Here Dina and her son run to Ellie. Dina explains that Abby has treated her well and explains their plans of making a vaccine. Here Dina and Ellie share a beautiful moment. Realising that Abby didn't want to kill Ellie all along. Ellie thinks about the vaccine. And then about what she said to Joel in Salt Lake City when they arrived. For the first time, all them years ago. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. And how hopeful that little girl was of creating a vaccine with her immunity. Ellie decides to go ahead with trying to create the vaccine. Here we quite clearly get emotional scenes with Dina. Ellie's all prepped up, told how the surgery will play out, lays on the bed and is put to sleep. Good night, kiddo. Right everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and deciding plot points and stuff like that. It was really fun. So if you've stayed till the end, like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.